Glass here, and today I'm going to give you guys my thoughts on the Ruoff Morph Edge uh, 500 at Phoenix. So yeah, so anyways, let's get started here. So as we all know today, we have uh, we have now uh, our second first time winner of the year, which is none other than Chase Briscoe. Yeah, so coming in today, I didn't expect him to win today, but he managed to pull off the upset today after his incredible start to the season. So yeah, so I mean, I picked Briscoe to win a race this year, but I didn't expect it to come at Phoenix. I mean, I mean my pick for uh, my pick for his first win was actually at, at the Bristol Dirt Race. So yeah, but I'm still glad though he managed to win today. And yeah, I mean, as you can see behind him are the are the other two that finished in the top three, which are Ross Chastain and Tyler Reddick, which are two more drivers who have not won. Like we basically had a battle for the win with three drivers going for their first win, which that was wild to see there. I mean. This new car is definitely making the field more even. So, yeah. So, I mean, that's just that there. And you, then you have Blaney and Kurt Busch finishing behind them. I mean, I almost accidentally put Kevin Harvick into this here because I thought Harvick got a top five, but I think he finished seventh. So, yeah. I mean, surprisingly, Kurt Busch got fifth, which I didn't expect that there. I mean, I don't even know where he came from on, on those last two laps to get a top five. So, yeah, so that's that there. So, yeah, but, I mean, I mean, honestly, though, about today's race, it, uh, honestly, like, this race, honestly, was kind of, like, so far my least favorite race in the year. I mean, I didn't hate the race today, but this race today just felt dull and boring, to say the least. I mean, I don't hate Phoenix, but this race today was just boring. I mean, there was not a lot of good moments. I mean, there were still some cautions, like, we'll get to those later, but... Still, I mean, this this race today was just not the best. I mean, so far this is my this is so far, I rank this race fourth to, uh, of the year. So yeah, so that's why I'm just saying there. So yeah, but I mean, I mean there was some, there was still some incidents, but we're gonna talk about that later. So yeah, but I mean, so I mean, once again though, I mean I'm still glad that Briscoe won, but this race just felt boring, but. Um, the incidents we had today, like, there's only a few I can remember, um, like, LaJoy, he lost a tire, Trix, he crashed into the wall, Larson, um, he did not bring out a caution, but he had engine trouble, and Eric Jones, he spun out, and Chase Elliott also spun out as well, so yeah, so, I mean, those are the only incidents that I can remember from today, so yeah, so, I mean, just... Not to mention also today was kind of a, just a tough day for us Toyota fans. I mean, Kyle Busch, he didn't get a top 10. Hamlin, he got 13th. But Bell and Truex, they didn't finish good. Neither did Bubba. Like, both Bush brothers were the only drivers to get top 10s today out of the Toyota team. Which, that's not really the best news as, as a fan of Toyota. Which, I'm one of those. So yeah, so I mean, just... I at least hope, though, they can at least improve this season. I mean, I know we're only four races into the season, but still. But, I mean, just... That's what I'm just saying there. So, yeah, but, I mean... Uh, yep, but hopefully, though, it can still get better. I mean, I mean, still, I mean... Today was just kind of a frustrating day for Cow uh, for us Cowboys fans, but he still got a top 10 in that DeWalt car, which I really like the design. I mean, even though it's the same thing with Bell, but still... I mean, just, that's what I'm just saying there. So, yeah, but once again, though, I mean, I'm still glad that Briscoe won. But, yeah, but, I mean, and this now concludes the West Coast Swing for NASCAR. So, yeah, so, I mean, Las Vegas and Auto Club were really good races overall. So, yeah, and Phoenix, it was just okay, to say the least. But, yeah, I mean, we won't be going back to Phoenix until this November for the championship race. So, yeah, so, I mean, it's going to be a while before we go back there. I mean, I mean, yeah, so that's what I'm just saying there. So, yeah, but, I mean, but once again, though, the next race, though, is Atlanta, which is a new configuration. So, can't wait to see how that goes. I mean, people say it's going to be acting like a super speedway. I'm not really so sure about that, though, but we'll just wait and see on that there. So, yeah, so, I mean, just, yep, so we'll just wait and see here. I mean, once again, also, if you're wondering, my pick today was Blaney, but 
he almost had, though. I mean, if his pick crew was a little better, then he may have would have won this thing. I mean, he started on pole today, but just was not able to get it done. But Blaney Bill is just showing some speed this year that that this is why I picked him to make the championship for this year. So, yeah. So, but I at least hope that he'll at least, at least get a win this year because he's one of my favorites. I mean, the next time one of my top five hair drivers retires, he's going to move into my top five favorites since, yeah, Blaney, he's just one of my favorites. So, yeah, I mean, that's just my opinion, though. So, if you don't like Blaney, I'm fine with that. So, yeah. So, that's that there. So, yeah. So, I mean, just... But, I mean, there's just not really that much to talk about in this race review since not much really happened, to say the least, in this race. I mean, I mean, it was not a terrible race, but it was just an okay race, to say the least. That's the first time I'm saying this here, but this race was okay. But, still, I mean, just, that's just my thoughts there. So, yeah. So, but, however, though, I am now officially on spring break now. And, also, today was, and today was daylight saving times. So, yeah, so time uh, now moves forward. So, yeah, but, yeah. And once again, I am now officially on spring break for the week here. So, yeah, so, and I'm going to be making two rail fan trips this uh, this week, which the first one is going to be Milano, which that will be hopefully on Tuesday. And then the next one will be Taylor, likely on Wednesday. So, that's that there. So, yeah, so... So, I mean, just hopefully I'll be able to get some good trains while I'm in Milano and Taylor. I mean, I did hear UP 1989's in Laredo, so hopefully it comes up here like what it did, like what, like what 1943 did. But we'll just have to wait and see on that. So, yeah, so if it does come this week, though, then I will do my best to catch it. It's like, if it's on a weekend, like on Saturday, wait, you, you guys may have to wait until the video comes out. But if it's on like on Sunday morning, then it'll come out the not uh, that night after the race concludes, since Atlanta is this weekend. And of course, though, I will be going to Coda, so can't wait for that there. So yeah, so that right there is just my thoughts there on today's race. So yeah, so stay tuned for more videos coming out this week, especially since I'm now on the spring break. So yeah, so def. Uh, if uh, definitely look forward to the Milano and Taylor rail fighting videos when they come out. So yeah, so that right there is just my thoughts there. So yeah, so yep, and stay tuned for these rail fighting videos. And yeah, so anyways, thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys later.